the catwalk, the photos, the lights, the camera, the action. Get on your prime and begin training today. Register at letstudio.com and become a Halo model. Hello, El Paso. Welcome to another segment of Local Icons. We have a very special guest with us today, and he's a big actor. Some of you guys may know him, may have heard of him. He has been in big projects in Fox. He's been in projects in Netflix. He's been in projects in HBO. You might have heard of him around town. Let's welcome Mr. Manny Rubio. Come on, Manny, how are you? Good to see you. Absolutely. Have a seat, have a seat. Thank you, man. I like the set, man. I like the mix. It's always good to see you, man. Likewise, brother. Feels like home. Always home. <laughs> well, it's finally time for your segment because we've been trying to get you here for a while, and uh, we finally found some time to 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 bring you on board. Let everybody know, Manny, who Manny Rubio is and where he comes from, where he was born, where he was raised. Uh, a little bit of background, high school maybe. Oh, right on, right on. Let's see. Uh, I was born in El Paso. Um, born and raised here, man. I've lived a little bit in uh, outside of town, though, but this is always home. home. I always come back, man. Uh, I went to Bel Air High School, actually. Hey. Graduated from there. Hey. Uh, what school did you go to? I went to Socorro High School, okay. but I worked eight years at Bel Air, so I'm like Big Red. Oh, man. there you go, man. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I, did, I did double the time uh, at Bel Air than what I did, you know in my high school years, Okay, so. right on, right on. So what else, what else? So uh, I started doing community theater back in uh, 1997, man. I, uh, my neighbor, he was involved in acting. And one day we were just hanging out and uh, him and the director just look at me and they're like, Max. I'm like, no, it's Manny. <laughs> no, Max, dude, I'm doing a play. Please, please, please. You gotta be in my play, man. The guy dropped out, you can do it. And I said, all right, I'll do it, uh, sure. And I got bit with a bug, man. After that, I just started doing Theater, 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 uh, and then uh, they asked me to do a. You remember Walk El Paso Walk? Yeah. Yeah. They asked me, "Hey, you want to do a Walk El Paso Walk commercial?" And like, we're gonna pay you. I'm like, what? You're gonna pay me? You pay me for this? Yeah, yeah, for real, for <laughs> acting. And uh, started doing commercials. Started doing like industrials and yeah. radio spots, and then ind independent films. And then uh, my life changed in 2007, man. I had a I had a buddy who had an audition for Prison Break. Uh -huh. An old show back on Fox, yeah. Uh, and uh, he told me, "Hey, it's in Dallas. You want to drive with me?" And I said, "Yeah, I'll drive with you." <laughs> uh, but I'm thinking in my head, I'm scheming, man. I got a resume together, got like my best like prisoner-looking picture. <laughs> and when I got there, I go to the like assistant, <laughs> assistant, assistant casting director. Like, yo, I just drove nine mm -hmm. hours from El Paso. Can you please give me an audition? And uh, the casting director, she had done a play in college. Uh huh that I did for free, but I, you know, it was uh, Picasso at the La Pana Gil by Steve Martin. So she gave me a shot. And next thing you know, man, I booked four episodes on it. And, and that was kind of your breakthrough, huh? Oh, that was my breakthrough, man. That's, yeah. that's when that I- That was definitely your breakthrough. For sure. And then that's, that was it, man. And, and, then, and then life changed. Like literally, you became SAG after that. Yeah, you, you have to work two projects. So that was my first one. Okay. But then I ended up uh, booking another, uh, film called uh, Inhale with uh, Dermot Mulroney and Diane, um, what's her name? Anyway, but uh, yeah. Well, give, so us, give us a little depth into what SAG is. So people that don't know what, okay. what the Screen, Act, Screen Actors Guild is. Yeah. Well, uh, it's, uh, SAG is the Screen Actors Guild, but it uh, merged with the uh, Amer American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. Mm -hmm. So now it's SAG-AFTRA. And uh, the good thing about being in the union, man, is they, they look out for you. They look they out do. for you. I mean, besides the pay. Uh, pay increases. Pay certainly. increases. Uh, yeah. Residual income for any projects. Um, it keeps going. Royalties yeah. keep coming in. All that good stuff. Yeah, and, yeah, and they, they take care of you, man. They take care of you. Right. you know? As artists, a lot of people want to sometimes just, I don't want to say take advantage, but kind of like, oh, you're an artist. Just come do my thing. The next thing you know, you're doing 14 hours in the sun, <laughs> not getting fed, and which I love acting, so no complaints. You've done it still. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. still do it, but it's nice to be taken care of. Absolutely, so, yeah. yeah man, I recommend it for anybody. You know what? Uh, I'm actually, you know, I had similar steps uh, growing up in this business. Uh, I left LA at the age of 17, right out of high school, 
And um, one of my, my, my first year was nothing but modeling little gigs, mm -hmm. tiny, tiny little gigs. And then I started acting, taking acting courses. Because my, my agent said, hey, you're not gonna be booking these male model jobs uh, until you look more masculine. I was mm -hmm. puny, I was tiny. Mm -hmm. And um, so he said, you, I suggest you start taking some, some acting courses. Okay. The minute I did that, things started coming through. So uh, I did my first project with a, uh, a documentary with HBO. Oh, nice. And um, nice. being taken care of was the biggest kind of like highlight to this day in my acting career. Dude, that's... I was on set, they asked me, call time was at six in the morning. Mm -hmm. They didn't use me till like four in the afternoon. I got paid every hour. And some, that's all and like overtime, some, yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah. I got paid, but I ate all kinds of stuff in their, in their little set that they had. Cause it was like this big old canopy with, I mean, everything. Craft Fruit. services is, yes. that's one of the best yeah. perks, man. So, I mean, I, I mean, this is back in 97, 98. Yeah. So I imagine what you're going through 10 years later now, 20 years later, you're still doing this. Um, you said take, being taken care of was a big perk. Give us some details. How do they take care of you? Like, aside from the money, I know yeah, that yeah, that's yeah, a big difference. Yeah. yeah. You know what, man? Honestly, it, it's still. How was the still, set for? I'm for still prison comfort, break? comfortable sometimes. I'm comfortable sometimes, man. Cause you get there, and then they're like, "Oh, what would you like to drink? What do you want to eat?" And then you know you tell them, and then have you had a trailer to yourself? Already? Yeah, you get your trailer. Ooh, then, like, boy. I didn't. Your, yeah, I never went through they that. They bring your food. And it's a little, dude. I still haven't gotten used to it, man. I'm just like, oh yeah. I'm from El Paso, man. Just yeah. a little humble boy from El Paso, <laughs> man. And, and uh, it's, I, I still never get used to that, man. You know, being out in the sun and people holding your umbrella. And uh, like, I got it. I got it. No, yeah. no, no. I'm like, I got okay, it. Boy. Okay, okay, all right. Wow. It's still, it's still a little bit, but uh, but it, it's it's fun though, man. Because you, you pay you pay your dues for so long. Yeah. And you just put your time in, and yeah, it's kind of nice to be you know be treated like that, man. Yeah. It's, you know, it's it's not a complaint for sure. Before I move on, I, I mean. I know that there's, I wanna ask you some questions on some uh, recent former projects, recent former, pro yeah, yeah, or, sorry, sure. recent projects. And I wanna ask you on what's coming up next for many. But before that, I wanna show everybody your highlight reel. Oh, right on, um, right on. So let's quick, take a quick look at Manny Rubio's highlight reel. I hadn't visited him since medical school. I used to call him every day, then it became once a week, and then once a month, and I just stopped calling altogether. Just got so busy, I didn't have any time. We make time for what we want. You need a hook up, my friend. No, take your time. I don't hard sell. My product speaks for itself. Outside, I took something soft. Prescription of a drug called Veritrol, and I was wondering if you know. This ain't no pharmacia, but what I got right here, it's better than anything your doctor gave you back in the States. It's tar. And just take a taste. Algo pequeñito, you know, keep it in check. I don't have any money right now. And I don't have any drugs, but there are a few ways for a man to make a few dollars in Sonado, servicing the needs of others, not something I'm into. Yeah, I'm a punk. I'm just helping you get well, my friend. Just helping you get well. The weekly from your operations on the outside. Grape Digger dropped it off. Couldn't be. That's that little boy at 210. Stuff's just moving a little slower on the outside these days. Well, you and me, well, me go. Yeah, base. When the chero's in a better mood, I'm gonna put in a good word. Help you, how you say? Move up the ladder. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it, compadre, but I was always taught that uh, God helps those that help themselves. So fast, 
¿Qué chingados se estás haciendo? Este cabrón nos está siguiendo. Sometimes you're gonna see some bad shit, man. Keep Come your eyes on me. I'll frisk you. I will get out and frisk you. Carter, that's not exactly under the radar there, you know? It's time for a little protect and yeah. serve. Carter. Carter! It's a dude! Rainers? That's 20 damn miles out of town. It's important that I get home. Hey. You're still home. Sorry about what I said earlier. Please, don't go. I'll be home in 10 minutes. Wow, you never, you never come short of amaze me. So, too kind, brother. <laughs> This, these two clips that we saw, one of them was Hands of God, mm -hmm. which was casted here. Yeah. 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 And mm -hmm. uh, the, the second, the whole scene after that mm -hmm. was uh, Prison Break. Was that the first episode you were doing with them? Um, I think that one is the third episode on that clip. Yeah, the okay. third episode, yeah. Um, you mentioned Hands of God, and I'm particularly proud of that project, man, just because the film, the El Paso film community has barely blown up in the last few years. Yeah. But back in 2009, there wasn't, it wasn't that vibrant like now. That's an all El Paso cast and crew yeah. on Hands of God and they got down, man. Yeah. That was yeah. like, that said the train. Carlos Corral was yeah, yeah, yes Carlos sir. Corral. Yes, sir, yeah. um, who other actors were part of that? Do you remember? Uh, yeah, it was uh, Marco Naylor. Uh, he's out in uh, Georgia now. Uh, it was, um, but he's local. Is yeah, he he's local? local from here. Okay. Living out in Georgia now, working, doing crew out there. And then uh, uh, Ramon, how uh, do Ramon Villa. Okay, Villa? that's yeah. the gentleman. Musician, professor, all that yeah. good stuff. Um, yeah, it was, yeah, man. It, that super you worked, talented people. You've worked with the majority of, of the El Paso film and crew actors. I, can, I think you work with the majority that are kind of known around here. I would say I've been lucky too, man, yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, and they always blow me away, man, the talent. And it's just gotten better, too. Yeah, better and better. Things are blowing up. Yeah, yeah. Which? Leads me to uh, what you mentioned right now, how things have blown up. Uh, what's coming up? What's new? What, what, what are these projects? I know, guys, I know some details that, that I'm gonna let Manny speak very, very little of, but give everybody a little, okay. little, little edge on what's coming up for Manny. All right, uh, well, I guess one that I could talk about for sure, because it's already in the can. It's a movie called Half Brothers. Okay. Uh, it was made with NBC Universal. Uh, with Luis Gerardo Mendes, okay. uh, super big in Mexico. Now he crossed over. Yeah, he's crossing over to the states, and he's wow. uh, yeah, he's uh, a great guy to and work with. Too. You've already have you started production on that? Yeah, we already filmed. We already oh, you filmed, filmed, and the film is completed and should be out uh, sometime this year or, or the, next pan year. the pandemic kind of held everything back. Yeah, yeah, okay. it was supposed to already be out, but I guess it's they're waiting for the right time. Okay. Though. But um, I uh, got a couple of Netflix projects that are coming up as well that I'm ready to work on i can't wait um one i cannot talk about whatsoever those darn yeah. ndas man <laughs> disclosure agreements yeah. Yeah. Uh, but another one it's um I i'm sure I, if it's that big i mean if it, if if you sign a non-disclosure and the little that you mentioned to me uh without the full details that seems like gonna be a huge project it's a you. super super popular show and they just gave word though that they're gonna continue Wow. Beyond beyond this season, so that's crazy. So people are can't gonna wait. To, you guys, I'm I'm anxious to see exactly what it's what it is. I can't but uh, I'm sure it's way up there, man. It's one of those big ones. And the other one is uh, it's uh, starring Idris Elba. That's I think I think I can say that at least. Okay. Um, produced by oh my goodness, I have to bite my tongue. But yeah, I, I just cannot <laughs> wait, man. I, I work produced by a big star. Yeah. That I do know, but I'm not I can't say it. A big star with a big star wife. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. probably the baddest couple on the planet, right? The, probably the probably baddest the hottest, yeah. anyway. But yeah, so Hollywood that's, that's next month, man. So I'm excited. A list, that. brother. Mm -hmm. A list. You're working out with A listers. So But uh, on another level, man, uh, you mentioned the pandemic and, and how it's affected stuff. Uh, we were supposed to do a play here in El Paso, mm -hmm. but it's gonna be on the radio uh, this coming Saturday okay. on 88.5. Oh wow! It's, uh, called Borderline, and um, it's like a throwback, man, just to the radio. 
Wow. Just, you know, back when they did plays on the radio. And uh, are you saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't even know that. They yeah, used to yeah. Do plays on the radio. Yeah. Uh, back in the like, I guess twenties, thirties, or forties. Eighty-eight point five. Uh, yeah, this Saturday and do at you 11.30. Read, do you read live or is it all pre-produced? Man, in this age of the pandemic, we went to go pick up our equipment at UTEP. Uh -huh. the, we had to learn how to do it ourselves at home. Uh -huh. And yeah, we did it on a Zoom meeting, everyone with their own equipment at home. So what? the sound dude will put it together. And yeah, uh -huh. I can't wait to hear how it comes out, man. Oh, it's that's a, crazy. It's a, it's a pretty good little... It's a pretty good little uh, is that your first of that sort? Radio play? Yeah, first yeah. one. I've done stage readings, I've done, but yeah, like a radio play, that was, that was a blast, man. That was a blast. Well, I, and for the people out there, Manny is a veteran now here at LAT Studio. He was our first acting coach that we had hired mm -hmm. uh, back in 2009. Yeah, 2009. Yeah, it was right after prison break or during prison break. Right, right after. Right, right after, after, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and now, he was actually, he's been working with us again since uh, last fall. Yeah, last fall. Last fall. Mm -hmm. So there's courses available, and uh, Manny Rubio is going to be uh, coaching this upcoming fall. So if you guys are interested, we have several people signed up already. The capacity is only 10 students per class. There's a youth class, and there's an adult class. So if you guys are interested, hit us up at letstudio.com. But uh, Manny, one... Uh, Last question before you uh, leave mm -hmm. is how can actors get started? Aside from, from uh, classes, what do you suggest they do? What, what can they do? A mm -hmm. big advice for, for you know, aspiring actors. This is a good time to get into acting just because of all the, all the equipment is at hand oh, yeah. with apps, with cell phones. I mean, you have TikToks. everything you need. TikToks. <laughs> I mean, and honestly, like that's a lot of uh, media companies, production companies, they're looking to TikTok to find their latest star, wow. to YouTube to find their latest star. Yeah. So I would just say, just start filming on your camera. You always, the best camera is the one you have on you. So yeah, you, you showed me something right now before we started the interview. You do this kind of like personal, uh, yeah. little gesture of your own. Mm -hmm. It's a one second of video mm -hmm. per day. Per day, yeah. One second of video per day, and then what? What do you do with this? Well, you'd be, you'd be, you'd be surprised what you can capture in a second, yeah. right? You'd be surprised how much one second can tell you. So I'm just gonna put them together. It's a five-year project. Five uh, years. You've yeah. been doing it for five years already? Yeah, I started in 2016, and this is my fifth year doing it. Uh, so I'm gonna wrap at the end so of this So 365 year. days times five, you have well over like 1,500 or plus seconds. Comes out to around six, six something minutes a year, around 30 minutes overall. <laughs> but I'm gonna just find a way to compress it, <laughs> take out some of the moments that, you know, like, yeah, you know that are all right. Uh, take out yeah. certain people. Certain <laughs> people. <laughs> certain people, yeah, they're no longer in your life. No longer, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, man, that's, that's my, little, my little pet that's project. Awesome, Staying man. creative, you know? Yeah, right, absolutely. You know? But uh, yeah, I would say for anyone that wants to act, the only person that can keep you from acting is you. That's the only person. Yeah, absolutely. Because you can make your own projects yeah. now. You don't need, you don't need, you don't need film, production companies, TV, just, you have your phone, yeah. you have friends. And you know what, there's yeah. a lot of people that know how to act. They're, they're good at it, but they never put themselves to the test in front of a camera. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. therefore they never kind of, they never ventured out. Mm -hmm. So what better way than to use your phone? And, uh, and if you guys want extra help in some serious coaching, Manny Rubio is here at LAT Studio. This is where we film. Um, Manny, thank you so much. Thank you, Tony. For being here. Yeah. Always, always been a pleasure to have you as my friend. And uh, now as a colleague again. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you, man. I can't wait to start the classes, man. Absolutely. I'm really excited. September 19th. There's about four spots, five spots left. Okay. So, Ooh. all right, guys. Thank you so much. Manny, thank you for, for thank being you, here. Be good, Wish man. you the thank best you. in your next projects. Thank you. You guys, uh, we'll, we have more for Live and Talented. Let's see what Larissa has for us in the rest of the show. The catwalk, the photos, the lights, the camera, the action. Get on your prime and begin training today. Register at letstudio.com and become a Halo model.